Hello everyone, welcome to another micro video and today I'm going to show you how to run a shader pack that can basically run on any device. For instance, your toaster. The first thing you want to do is click the link in the description and it will take you to this website. This is one of the Chocopic shaders. So what you want to do is go into version 7 once everything's opened up. And then you want to hit all the way to the bottom called Toaster Edition. You just click this, then you hit download over here and you can close any ads that come by. Now the shader pack is downloaded, now what you want to do next is download Optifine if you haven't already. If you do not know what Optifine is, it basically increases the FPS in your game and will allow you to run shaders. Now Optifine supports many micro versions all the way from 1.14.4 to 1.7.2 but since we're going to play in Minecraft 1.15 we can go to preview versions and download the latest Optifine. So you're going to hit download or mirror if you don't want to see ads. So here we're going to just hit download. You're going to skip the ad once the time is done. It will take you here. So if you click this link here it's going to open up another window like this. Sometimes it can be a game, it can be another ad. But what you want to do is just go back and download again and this time will actually download the file. Now with these two files installed what you want to do is open Optifine and hit the install button. Over here you can see the trajectory of where Optifine will be installed. This is your .minecraft folder. You just want to copy that, open up your file explorer, go to the top bar here and paste that in, hit enter and it's going to take you right to where your Minecraft is. So this is where you can install mods if you use mod loaders, resource packs, Here's your screenshots, that's where all your worlds are. But here we're going to look for shader packs. This folder will appear in the .minecraft folder after you've installed it and run the game with Optifine. Since I already have Optifine installed, I don't have to go through this process. So all you have to do is just hit install. A prompt will say it's done installing, so you just hit OK. And then you're done. So I'm just going to close this. And I've already played Minecraft with Optifine, so the shader packs folder will come up. Then you want to open it. And if you're using Chrome, your download is over here, so you can just drag it into your folder. Or if you're using Firefox, there will be a download thing over here. You click that and just drag the folder into your shader packs. Now that's all done. All we have to do is start up Minecraft. So as you can see, Optifine has already been selected for us. If not, then you just go Installations. And if it still doesn't come up, you can just hit New, Versions. They can search for it through here. As you can see, it comes up here. Then you hit Create. And now you have another instance of where Optifine can be. But since it already came up for us, we'll just use this. Now all you have to do is hit play. Alright, Minecraft started up. I'm using a Minecraft resource pack, so everything here will be different to you. But what you're looking for is if Minecraft 1.15.2 says modded in the bottom left corner. And to make sure that it's truly installed, you can go to options, video settings, and you would have all these other options. With Minecraft open now, you should see now that you have your shader packs folder in .minecraft. Then you put that shader pack in your shader packs folder. Now all you have to do is load up a world. If you look at the top left hand corner of my screen I have my FPS enabled so you can see when it will drop and when it will increase. Okay this is how you enable the shader pack. You're gonna pause the game, go to options, video settings and then you'll see a shaders button. You're gonna click that and a list of all the shader packs in that folder will come up. But if you're new to this then you'll just have that one shader pack that you've installed. Now all you have to do is just click Chocopic Minecraft should load and the shader pack is enabled. Now you can mess around with these options if your game is still lagging. Like I advise you to switch off anti-aliasing if your PC is not strong enough. But I just have it on because my computer is quite powerful. But it still doesn't change the fact that the shader pack can run on old computers. And also to show if Optifine's on you just have to hover over a button and it will give you a dialog of what the button does. Now we can hit done and get out. And as you can see, you're running shaders. Here's some shadows, and there you go. Now, every shader pack, or at least most shader packs, have options that you can mess around with. Now, the easy way to do it for 1.15 and above is F3 plus O on your keyboard. And then you can choose shadows, their resolutions, atmospherics, lighting, all that. But the easiest way to get to it is going back to your shader packs area. And at the bottom right, you'll see shader options. So you're going to click that and it will bring you up to the same screen. So here, shadows, this is where you can mess around with all sorts of settings like shadow resolution if I just put it up to max. Now you can see that shadows are much sharper than before. You can always increase the FPS by making the settings lower. Now as you can see when I get closer, the shadows will start appearing and if I move far away then the shadows start to disappear again. 
Well, if your PC can handle it, you can increase how far you can see shadows by going to shadows options, and then you can mess around with the shadow distance. So if I switch it to 100, you'll see shadows from 100 blocks away. Now that glitch you just saw from earlier is due to the fact that the shader pack doesn't support 1.15 very well. So the void is going to have some messy looking things. So this is the FPS I'm getting with shaders, and this is the FPS I'm getting without shaders. You can see the difference is not that dramatic. I hope this video was helpful to you. You can click the thumbs up button if you like the video, and you can subscribe if you want to see any more Minecraft tutorials. That's it for today. Hope you learned something new. And goodbye. Why are all these chickens in the middle of the desert?